Hey guys, so it is um, Monday and it's probably like 1 in the morning and it looked like boo boo, but I ordered um, the fountain tarot on Friday and it arrived today. So, and I didn't open it yet, I saved it for the video. So I'm going to unbox it right now. I'm really excited. Um, <clears throat> I remember I first, I didn't know about this deck when it was, um, on the Kickstarter thing. I didn't, um, and I'm not really in, like, the whole tarot loop and stuff, so I don't know, like, when, oh, there's double wrapping. I didn't know, um, you know, like, when new decks are coming out and stuff like that. So I am fairly new with, like, collecting them and all the information on the new ones and stuff like that. Um, <coughs> but I remember I was on YouTube and, um, I would, I don't know how I came across it, but I came across, um, Drew Barker's channel and I saw his, um, re, uh, reveal, I think, or unboxing. Oh, you guys, there's a card. Let me make sure that's everything. Yeah. But there's a card. It says, thank you. We are so thrilled to be on this journey with you. Love, Jonathan, Andy, and Jason. Probably, I don't know if you could see it. Oh, you can. And there's a little gem on there. That is so cool. I'm totally keeping that. Keeping it, for sure. All right. It's so pretty. It is finally here. Finally have it. All right. So um, <clears throat> yeah. And I remember watching um Drew's video on it, and <clears throat> I'm totally like, I know it's like just the cards, but if it's got really nice packaging, I'm totally like gonna love it even more. Same thing with the backing. Like, I know the backing. You don't like read with backing but if it's a backing that I don't like it's gonna kind of deter me from wanting the deck I know it's really weird it's just <clears throat> it's kind of just if you have like there's like a shirt you really like but there's like one thing about it and so it makes you never want to wear it you know it's kind of like that I mean if it's, it's a deck I really really want I would get over the backing <clears throat> so far all of the ones I have I do enjoy the backing because after one, I'm not a fan of the backing, but I really do love the deck because it was gifted to me by a friend. Actually, it's really heavy. It has the cards on the back. Let me show you guys the front. It has the reflecting of the colors. It's so crazy, like, watching it in a video or seeing the images, you know, and then actually holding it in your hands really nice and yeah it has the magnetic so this is by far my most like fancy <coughs> deck and the inside unfolds like this and it's more shiny and it says you are the voice and the breath of the universe it has a nice little book and it has a little ribbon um I believe you just pull it but maybe it's gonna take a little bit more effort <laughs> oh my god okay there oh wait it was right there oh wow okay so it actually is a lot smaller than I thought it was I don't know why I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than this but that's totally fine um it's kind of like it's not a hard cover but it's it's a thick cover you know so it's not like all paper but it's a nice little book and also where it has the logo and it says the fountain tarot it's also reflective like the box so that's really nice um <clears throat> I'm not gonna really go into this oh no the pages are bent oh it's there right there it's okay it's just a book it's fine Alright, so the cards, 
I'm going to try and pull the cards out. Why am I having so much difficulty? Oh my god. Does anybody else have difficulty getting these out? Maybe it's the ribbon thing. I'm just not used to it. Okay, here they are. Okay, it's so pretty. <clears throat> oh, I gotta unwrap it too, but here's the backing. And it looks like, I know a lot of people say it's like kaleidoscope, which it totally is, but it reminds me of looking into like a diamond when you look into it and you see all the shapes and the reflective colors of the diamond. Totally. And it's gilded too. So this is now my second gilded deck. And I have the gold one and now I have silver. So totally excited about that. I know these are all like just the looks of it, but I don't know. Like if if it's something that has like a shitty box or like the cardstock, you know, isn't that great. If it's if the images are something I really like, I will still buy it. Like same thing with the Llewellyn ones. Um, a lot of people don't like the packaging, and a lot of people really don't like how flimsy and thin the cards are. But I like a lot of the um, the images that come with that product. So it's kind of like you know you can't have everything. You can't have your cake and eat it too, right? But we all love cake, I'm sure. So um, yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. And the cards are really soft. It has a little thing. Um, it says, We hope the Fountain Tarot brings you joy, clarity, inspiration of Jonathan, Jason, Andy, and also their information on the bottom. So you get a nice little card. Like that. Wow. You guys. Okay, so I've seen a lot of review videos. And I'm sure you guys have too, because there's a lot out there. And there's a lot of Instagram people using this deck too. But, yeah, when they tell you that the images, their camera or whatever doesn't do the images justice, that is so true. Because these are so, like, like they really look like a piece of art. Like, Wow. You know, like, I watch a lot of, like, artists and stuff. Like, I paint and I draw. And I grew up doing a lot of art things. So, having a deck that is um, <clears throat> created more, of, you know, like, by hand instead of computer graphics and stuff, which that totally, you know, is an art form in itself. But I can understand the technique and stuff it takes to actually paint something by hand. <laughs> That's the full card. And, you know, my phone camera sucks, but I'm just going to do a really quick flip through. And I'm my last video, you guys, was like 30 minutes. What? I love you too. No, I have all these cards to show people. You can come up here. This is the magician. It's okay, babe. And um, it's so funny, too, because <clears throat> I was watching um, <sighs> Angelino. I forget his last name, but his name's Angelino. Um, his channel. I linked it on my last video, too. This is the High Priestess. She's pretty. Um, <clears throat> and I was on his channel, yes, I think it was yesterday. And I saw that he had a video where he did an interview with the creators of this deck. And I was like, oh, it's so cool because, you know, I've heard people talk about them, but I've never, like, actually looked into them and stuff. So it was really, like, you know, kind of the whole synchronicity thing to stumble on a video about the deck, you know, and then here it is in my hand right now. Um, this is the Emperor. Um, the Hierophant. And, um, yeah, so, um, it was really fascinating, actually, because they put a lot of effort into, um, like, studying the cards. What's up? Yeah. 
I'm not so sorry. Over a pause it. All right. I totally lost track of what I was saying. Um, oh, yeah. So here's the lovers. Um, so it was really like synchronicity with me seeing that video and then getting this, these cards. Um, but yeah, so um, the guy that wrote it, I'm sure all of them too, um, went into like the history of the tarot and, you know, like this, the symbols and the things that stuck with like all the card decks that have been made and the ones that people kind of went off on their own direction, you know, because they wanted to make sure that it was like simple with getting the main, um, you know, key examples of what each card represents. Oh, my cat's going crazy. Babe, you didn't have to do that. Um, Wheel of Fortune. So, yeah, so they spent a lot of time, you know, on the sex. So I think that, you know, that shows, like, a lot of passion, you know, and it shows, like, what kind of character they are, you know, and I think that's, you know, really humble and to, to you know, purchase a deck from them knowing that the money is going to, you know, people of that nature and stuff. It makes you feel really good. The hanged man. Yeah, you guys, my camera sucks. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even showing the images, but I am. I'm excited. So, ten cards. Babe, I can't. I'm already like 10, 11 minutes in this. I'm sorry. Ooh. I like the colors on this. Babe, I'll be down there in a minute. I promise. Oh, I just noticed that the numbers are different colors. You probably can't see, but the, um, the numbers up there, like this one's red. This is tower. And this one's purple. This star, it's so pretty. Yeah, you can't tell, really. But they're different colors. That's cool. I, I totally didn't even notice that until um, just now. Interesting. And this is the moon card. I really love the moon card. And it's kind of like when you feel the cards, it's almost like if you were in like a museum and you were feeling the painting and it has like texture. It's kind of like that. Oh, and I love the ocean, you guys. So this is so pretty. And okay, so one of the first things that I noticed when I was watching um, Drew's video on the reveal of it was that it has a lot of straight lines in it. It does have, you know, some circles, but uh, more of like straight lines. And if you um, do any research on sacred geometry, um, the straight lines represents um, masculinity and circles represent female femininity. So that's one of the things that really drew me to this was that it was more of like a masculine vibe to it. Especially with the colors, they're more, like, diluted, and they're not, you know, super girly. You know, there's not a lot of flowers or pixies and stuff. So, which, you know, like, with tarot and even with oracle, I love this one. This is the fountain card. It's their extra card. And I really love it. And um, if I have time, I might read what it says from the book for this being. Um, so I was watching um, Kelly's Truth and Story, and she read it. She also does a... Um, a scan of the image so you can actually see it like up close and really pretty but um <clears throat> I totally lost track of what I was saying here's the ace of wands um, -da -ba -da -ba -da. oh my god I totally forgot it'll come back to me I'm sure um, two of wands <coughs> Three of Wands. Oh, yeah. So with it being more of a masculine, I feel it's more of a masculine deck. Um, and I like that because most of the tarot decks and oracles you see are more towards um, more female friendly, I guess. You know, like with the colors and the images, you know, there's lots of flowers, lots of... I don't know. It's hard to explain, but... I notice it, you know, I'm sure you guys do too, 
But it's kind of like there is a strong female connection to this too. But um, I don't know. It just it's really bold and um, I love this one, the Eight of Wands. You see what I mean? Like with the straight lines, you know, there's a lot of those. And also the colors, too. Like, I love color. I love, you know, rainbows. I love bright colors. I love muted colors. Um, I like all things, really. I am very eclectic, and that is not even half of it. <laughs> but um, I liked how muted this was. But it wasn't so muted to where it just blurred into the background. You're like, you, there was no definition or anything. It's not like that. It's, it's very bold, yet muted at the same time. And it's the way that they mix the colors with, like, the grays and the whites and stuff that really makes it pop without being, like, neon or something, crazy colors. You know, like, it still has that pop and wow factor to it, but with a subtle hue to it. And I like that. <clears throat> and I've heard um, a lot of people say this deck is really, really, really um, good with reading. So, um, like, intuitive and stuff, picking up on that and having, um, you know, the images correspond to what the cards mean, or their intuition picking up on, you know, like, what it normally means for them. Like, that corresponds to the artwork. This is really pretty, too. It's the Two of Swords. Um, oh, this is so pretty. It's a three. Oh, the Three of Swords. I like the heart. It looks like glass. It's really pretty. And like I said, too, I've been really drawn to, like, Alaska and, like, snow. And this one totally reminds me of that, too, with the whites. And it just, you get, with, like, grays and like silver and steel you get kind of like a cold feeling and I do get that from the cards but I know with um the pentacles that they use more greens and stuff so you get like an earthy vibe you know from physical and stuff oh my god six of swords I love this one I love the way that like oh my god can you see that detail of the ocean? Wow. <clears throat> oh, it's pretty too. Seven of Swords. I'm going to have to totally, like, look at these. <laughs> like, probably five minutes for each card after I do this video. So I can actually look at the detail of them. This one's interesting. Oh, it's a Nine of Swords. That's different, but it still totally works. I like I like that a lot. He's like curled up in a blanket and the swords are like they look more like almost like a shadow of like the light, the red light creeping up on him. Totally like it. So pretty. Page of swords. Oh yeah, and so a lot of the images I believe were of the artists too. So that's kind of interesting. And I know like um, the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, the artist, she puts her face in all of the pictures, but it's very, um, very subtle. And also uh, the Witch's Tarot one, the artist is in there and also a lot of her family members and like friends, I think. the But it's a photo digital uh, manipulation deck. <clears throat> That one's a little bit more weird, I think. Like, actually having, like, a photo that looks more like the human and then knowing that it actually is, like, a human, like, and you can, like, relate to it, it makes you think of that person kind of <coughs> instead of it being more of an art form. I don't know. I feel like that's different. But All right. And my, um, oh, this is really nice. Two of Cups. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the photo manipulation, and they like uh, more of the independent decks and more of the artsy vibe of the decks that are more 
um, painted, drawn, sketched, pastel, just whatever isn't computer graphic, computer manipulation, computer realism, anything to do with like graphics and computers. There's kind of been like that two separate things that I've been noticing. And I can't, I mean, I'm not saying you have to pick a side or anything, but I, I can't pick a side. I find beauty in each thing. I will say I am more drawn to these kind, you know, that are self-done and, uh, not self-done, but, uh, more artistically done with, like, paint. I would say I am more drawn to those. But, um, oh, like the Star Child Tarot. That is... Um, I saw that, and I really, really wanted that one. That one is um, photo manipulation, but it's a way that they do it. Oh, I like this one. Eight of Cups. It's the way, it's so cool. Like, the cups, you know, it's just, like, drawn, like, white, and it looks so simple, but it's just so detailed, and I don't know. I like looking at the little details, being an artist and, like, looking at how they did things. Or stuff like that I think that's really neat because um, you can kind of pick up on like more of like the artist themselves of how they create their art um yeah so star child tarot that one's an independent one and that one's so pretty I love the colors um I haven't seen every image I wouldn't say I love all of them there are some that I don't really care for, but I think, you know, you'll have that issue with any deck, really. <clears throat> this one, I don't know. This one, I almost like every image so far. But, um, uh, the creators of the Star Child, they are actually, um, I think they've already made it. They have the, uh, I think it's a Kashik or Kashik. I don't know how to say that word. Um, but it's kind of like, almost like a part two of the Star Trial Tarot. I think some of the images are the same and some are changed. And I think the book was may have redone too a little bit. I'm not sure on that. But they're making that. And they're also making, um, oh, my cat is going crazy. She likes to run up and down the stairs, like, full speed. Because she's, like, on crack or something. Oh, I love this one. See what I mean by the green? Now here we got, like, some green. This is the ace of points. I tend to like a lot of the ace cards, I noticed. Not just in this deck, but a lot of other ones. This one's pretty, too. Um, yeah, so she's making a moon child tarot. And it's, like, going to be, like, the sister deck to the star child. So you can use both of them. And it is so, so pretty. It has, um, if you go to her Instagram, she's been uploading pictures of them. Like little sneak previews and stuff and there was one she posted and it had uh, like these details and they were remind me of like Egyptian like hieroglyphic things and oh it was so pretty and I like Egypt stuff so I definitely I still want the star child tarot but I'm definitely really drawn to the moon child tarot and I know like heck of people are gonna be so excited that she's making another deck <clears throat> I'm going to say, I, I think it's really cool that these people, you know, go out of their way to try and make this for us. <clears throat> like, I know it's, you know, benefits them to, you know, they get their art out, you know, they get to make money, they sell their product and stuff. Like, you know, yeah, that's cool, you know, it's life, you got to make money. But a lot of the people in, like, the tarot community and the metaphysical community they're so sweet and they're so nice. They always write you back on your comments. You know, they're very genuine people. <clears throat> and so I feel like a lot of the people that <coughs> do take the time out to create the deck, there are like way more, like 80% more for um, the people, the readers, you know, of the decks, you know, they have, like, they strive to make sure that the deck is going to be good for, you know, the person buying it, the person reading it, you know, 
is that they're just not making another product to sell just to make money. There's a deep connection, I feel, with the tarot community. And lastly, the King of Coins. This one I might not really like. I don't know. The little old man's kind of kind of creeping me out a little bit, but he looks sweet. <clears throat> All right. So this video is 25 minutes long. I need to shorten them. I know. It's horrible. But I get carried away with talking. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so that was my, um, unboxing. I waited and unboxed it on camera for you guys. I'm so excited to start using these. I will not be getting any more new decks until, um, I know I asked for two. I asked for, um, oh, what is it? Oh, Sacred Rebel. I really, really love those cards. And I know they're an older deck, but I don't have it. And I'm so excited. Hopefully I get it for Christmas. I'm so excited if I do because I love that deck. And um, Chronicles of... Not Chronicles of Narnia, that's that movie. But it's the Chronicles of something deck. Um, it's like It looks like a book and it's green. And it's... I forgot what it's called. It's Chron Chronicles of something. But um, yeah... Packaging is wonderful, and the cards. I like the cards because they're more of um, more of like a shadowy side to it, I think. And there's this one card I love. I think it's called like the Tide or Washed Up or something. It's so pretty. But yeah, so I won't be getting it anymore until Christmas time. Um, at least those two that I know of if I do get them. So um, I want to do a video of my books that I have and also my little sacred space area that I filmed and I thought about doing a video of that um yeah if you guys have any questions or any ideas or tips on how to shorten the video and not ramble and talk people's ears off please let me know have a good night bye guys